Many patients come to our practice with a history of recurrent pregnancy loss or multiple failed IVF cycles. And these patients are found to have either markedly or even mildly elevated FSH levels. And sometimes there's no clearly identifiable cause as many of them are under age 40. And that's an unusual age for them to start to have a rise in their FSH levels. My job is to find out why the FSH is going up if it is not clearly related to the patient's age. There are several reasons for elevated FSH that can be treated and that can improve the chances of conception in this group of patients. One of these diagnoses is autoimmune ophoritis, which is simply an immune condition where the mother actually attacks uh, her own ovaries and actually the follicles inside the ovaries. This can be tested for and we look for the presence of high levels of anti-ovarian antibodies. And the good news is that by treating these high levels, if the diagnosis is made in close proximity to the actual onset of the disease, we can actually create a window where we may actually get a better response to the stimulatory medications that are used in either the in vitro fertilization cycle or the insemination cycle. The second uh, situation with unexplained elevation FSH are those patients that are found to have endometriosis. As we mentioned elsewhere on the website, when the ovaries are bathed in abdominal fluid uh, with high levels of inflammatory cytokines, such as tumor necrosis factor, this also begins a very slow degradation process in the patient's uh, follicles and slowly decreases her ovarian reserve. What we found in these situations, if we put the patients on high doses of antioxidants and we begin to lower the um, attack on these ovaries by these inflammatory cytokines, uh, we can actually improve not only the quantity of eggs that we see uh, with an in vitro fertilization cycle, but actually the quality of these eggs. Sometimes our patients have to go to surgery to debulk the amount of endometriosis if the medical therapy is not working. So it's important if you have an elevated FSH level, and even if it is due to advanced maternal age, that you are aggressive and you treat each of the problems that are found, and in our patients with no other identifiable cause, except advanced maternal age or a family history of premature ovarian failure, we have therapies that can increase the number of receptors on these older follicles so we get a better response from the stimulatory medications. So if you have an elevated FSH, um, you may be in this group of patients that still have an opportunity to have a child and you may not necessarily need donor eggs, although a large portion of patients still must be realistic that it's a difficult battle but one that we're willing to fight and many times we're successful.